guys and thank you for watching so just a quick two minute video for you if i can the mr2 is hopefully going we've got a customer coming for it right now now before the customer arrived we spent about 20 pounds to get it absolutely um gleaming inside i'll just show you in one second if you have a look presentation is everything your first customer is your last customer you've got to treat it with respect so before the customer arrives be make friends with a good car wash that that's what i was in my car wash guys are amazing i paid 20 pounds and i got a full hand polish on this if i'll just show you so before the customer arrives the car has to look it's looks look it's absolute best uh, i paid these guys i mean just go to your local car wash if you find a good one just buy them a box of chocolates uh, you know it only costs you five but they will do go that extra mile for you when it counts so this has received a full hand polish now inside outside it's been hoovered it's been cleaned it's been uh, roof's been conditioned on it as well so hopefully when the customer arrives this will be in a good enough state ready to go uh, and uh, just as a small courtesy guys before customer arrives I always check oil water tire pressures uh, just put a bit of lubricant on the battery if you need some just to make sure that they can get home safely and it's a bit of courtesy as well uh, inside again carpets have been done seats have been done I'm actually gonna miss this little car she's been an absolute joy to drive for the small time that we've been able to have her yep so inside outside she's gleaming And this is how you should present your vehicle to any potential customer. Treat your first customer as your last customer. Hopefully, if your car is good enough and your sales pitch is good enough, I mean, a good car will always sell, sell itself. You don't have to worry about... Um, I mean, in the, in the beginning, I used to panic about have I done enough work? Did was my car presented properly? Did I give the right speech? Did I tell them the good points or not? A good car will always sell by itself. You don't have to worry about things like that. As long as before you buy this, I mean, before I bought this, I did a lot of research in this car. It is the right color. It is the right mileage. This is black with black leather inside. It's got 88,000 miles. It's got full service history. It's low mileage with backed up with full service history. There's no dents. There's no rust on the car. Uh, I mean, you can't just go out there buy any sort of um, any any old beaten beaten up MR2 and expect to make seven eight hundred pound profit out of it. It's not going to happen. You're going to have to do your homework. You have to do your research. Low mileage, good color, service history. All the documents have to match up. Clean bodywork, clean interior. Make sure the electrics work, which I will go through with you in detail. Uh, a full buyer's guide to tell you exactly what to avoid, what to buy. Uh, and yeah, at the end of the day, simple rule is if you like the car yourself and you're willing to pay money, chances are your customers are going to feel exactly the same way and they're going to buy the car off you, pro probably, preferably with a bit more money so you can make a bit of profit on the side. So absolutely, before we made this choice, I always wanted a black one uh, with black leather inside, no uh, sort of uh, mismatched colors, red leather or any. I didn't take a chance on anything too adventurous and it is the right color uh, with the matching black hood as well with the low mileage so i mean we've been quite optimistic with the price these things you can pick this up from seven to eight hundred pounds for old beaten up ones with 120,000 miles on the clock because this is low mileage and it's in the right color and it's just turned spring um we pushed it up for about four thousand pounds well sorry not four thousand two thousand pounds which is near enough top end that you can get on these cars these days and that leaves you with a healthy profit margin as well so again guys um, i will give you hopefully a detailed guide on how to buy what to look out for and hopefully you can do exactly the same there is a ton of money to be made in cars there are dealers up and down the country in 24 hours in this country in the united kingdom possibly maybe uh, you can send I, I would have thought maybe up to about a quarter of a million cars are sold on a daily basis between 100,000 to 200,000 cars that is a lot of metal that's shifted that includes all the auctions all the big dealers all the small traders everywhere so there is potential for a huge amount of money to be made you just have to do it the right way so whatever I've learned I will share with you I'm happy to share please kindly like subscribe comment below and we'll keep posting the videos for you guys anyway look after yourselves and each other